Well, it's adventure time, oh, oh. But you, товарищ, my name is Kelman, welcome to that Russian gamer guy, welcome back to Siberia, and today we're doing this new location, it's called Arrowbird. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, investigate it. Uh, we just arrived here last episode from Comco's Grad, and, wow, it's snowy. Maybe we're getting closer to Siberia or something? Oh, stop calling me. Who's this? Hello? Is Dan. What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it too when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. All right, so he's extremely mad. It was actually not Dan, but our, um... Is this Russian? That's so beautiful. Uh, not our boyfriend, but our uh, boss. Hotel, it says hotel. Okay. Adiel Kronsky. Good morning, what? sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kronsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually, I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Okay, I'm on my mission. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to um impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please, I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. Everyone is so well, extremely rude and... in this place. At your service, ma'am. In this game. Большой отель Кронксе. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. Um... There's some other place. Ooh, that's the hotel. I probably cannot go there, huh? He be mad. Yeah. The door's locked. But I've still got to get in there. I know. What is this room? Attack! 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 Okay, what is this? What is that thing? Detergent. Oh, okay, I see. Maybe I should use it um on the fountain. Let me see. This is the only fountain in the world. It bleeds for you, cause my religion is you. And tonight, my religion is Arlbad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now we can um, distract him with the fountain. Look, I'm opening the curtains. Excuse me, sir! There's something with the fountain! It bleeds for you because my religion is you! What is this? Ring, ring! 
Alright, come on, baby. Gee, three times. I had to ring three times. He's extremely into his game, huh? Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Right? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? Go, go. He's taking him up, huh? Oh my gosh, I told you. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. He's taking a map mob. Map. Ugh. All right. Uh, so he be cleaning there, and we can sneak into the hotel to find Helena. Okay. Let's see. Motel six, slow gym fix, swinging in the lobby to the sunset twist. I can do it. You can do it. Move them hips. Everybody, let's get dangerous. Yes, we opened the door. So where's Helena? Hans Wurlberg. 14.78. Helena, 12.70. 1270, let's call. What is this? I should, uh... I should take a picture. Paris, France. Should I call somebody? No. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to call? Okay, Kate. Whatever you say. It's up to you. So we're on our way ba 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 back This is Aphrodite Lady. Seashell Bikini. Garden Pansy! Win us! Let's blast off to a new direction! In your ba basement? What? What is this hot tub? Can I start it? It's not working. Oh, it's working. It's getting hot. But what for? I don't know. Somebody's playing chess. This hotel looks super empty, but it's so beautiful. Like Lady Gaga that filmed door is a Venus music video in this hotel. Versace Hotel. You wanna go swimmingly? Glasses? Hey, close up for Kate Walker. Okay, sneaky thief. She be taking stuff just like that. Uh, is there anything here I can take? There's a robot. He be. Acting awful tough lately. What is this machine? I don't need to use this console. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to the guy. Hello there. Good afternoon, miss. Are you the hotel barman? My name is James, miss. James, the automaton nurse. I'm not a barman. I'm sorry. I didn't want to upset you. If you don't mind, miss. I would appreciate it if you would just be a little more rigorous in the terms you employ in the future. Oh my gosh. I'm looking for Madame Romansky. Do you know where she is? 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Madame Romansky takes her daily constitutional on the pier. Tea is served at 5 o'clock sharp. Is She'd it be possible right there. to go see her? As you wish, but do pay attention to the salt wind. Salt wind. Where well, I'm going, James. It would be a pleasure to see you again, James. When they say James, I always think of James Potter. Am I a Potterhead now? I gotta open the door. What is salt? Oh shit. Uh, let me see. I took a picture of something, right? Bitch. 
Uh, I think I should find um her number. Like four digit number. It wasn't for the phone, it was uh, to open that door. I should have taken a picture before I left. Hopefully the guy is not there. Phew. He's still cleaning. Okay. So, uh, 14, oh no, Helena, 1270, 1270 guys, please remember 1270, 1270, like sub-zero, ooh, your soul is mine. Aphrodite lady sea shell bikini garden pansy Venus Let's blast off to our new direction in your bedroom Don't Venus That doesn't work just mm. as I thought Why it's not working What's the right thing then? Excuse him more Bitch Okay, we gotta know like the exact password Maybe I should talk to guy, but no, I mean I'm pretty sure that it's four digit combination and it's in this book and we have no use uh, for anything else but this thing so should be there uh, okay Vladimir Moisev no not this one uh Mikhail what? Nikita access card resident code 1270 why it's not working Access card. This is so weird. Maybe I should use Hans Borelberg. 1478. Right? 1478. Let's try it. Let's go back. Fourteen seventy eight, baby. Doesn't look like that works. Bitch, what's the code done? Hotel brochure. Let's read it. How the fuck I know the password? Twelve seventy. doesn't work just mm -hmm. as I thought bitch what do you mean uh it's not working just as you thought hello what's there. the code hello. bitch I'm looking for madam 332 to is it as you he doesn't know well, anything oh. can you take me to Helena Romansky not at this hour miss madam will still be watching the sea at the end of the pier so Madam knows perfectly well that during this season I don't go down to the pier. My wheel work goes dicky under the double corrosive action of the salt and sand winds. Dicky? Listen, you can hear them sweeping up and down the beach and out to sea. We call it the salt wind here. It'll drive us all crazy one of these days. Come on, just make a little effort. No, I'll stay here and make ready for Madame in case she needs me. She can be so unpredictable. Such violent swings of mood. Okay, what about Have Hans? you ever heard of a Mr. Varlberg? The name is not entirely foreign to me. Really? 
You know Hans Vorlberg? That I cannot say, miss. Madam has forbidden me from talking about him and even mentioning his name. Why is that? Why? Nostalgia, sadness, medication. Call it what you humans will. We never had this conversation, did we, miss? Madam would be very angry to learn that I know, and now you know as well. Don't worry. Mum's the word. Okay. Well, I'm he cannot help me. And I don't know what to do because uh, I don't know where, what the code is, how to get there, and all this stuff. It's very strange. Oh, wait. The door is open. What is this? Some people came here and dropped a... What is this? Oh, okay, temporary card. Uh, zero, 0968, let's go. 0968, yes, everybody, we're so lucky. 0968. 0968. Yes, bitch. We're in! Let's go and breathe that salty wind. What is this? Ooh, I should take it to go outside. What? Are you for real? Is a uh, salty wind really bad for you? This is so weird, uh, but it's beautiful. Beautiful like you Oh, this is her My lady Helena What is this bell? What's up? What's up? Madam Romansky? Madam Helena Romansky? Who are you? What do you want? I'm sorry to disturb you, ma'am My name's Kate Walker I've come on behalf of Frank Malkovich Ah, Markovich, the old son of a gun. Are you one of his relatives? <laughs> Not exactly. He's a good friend of my mother's. He told me you might be here in Arlbad. I'm American, a lawyer. To what do I owe your visit? You have come so far. It must be important. Indeed it is. I have very delicate and pressing business to attend to. I have just left... Later, my dear, later. I have a slight headache. This hotel mask, the pinch so. I have to go in. Please, could you be so kind as to call my valet? I'll Your call valet. him. Of course. But he doesn't want to come outside. How do we... Oh, shit. You! Back here again? How dare you show your damn face right here! Get out of here immediately! Please. I absolutely must find... Miss Romansky! Oh, yes! I'm sorry, she managed to buy her way in here. Don't matter how vigilant you are, there's always one. Uh, but it won't happen again. She'll be out on her ear before you can say, um... Uh, I hope she hasn't upset you too much. Oh, Felix. Stop being such a grizzly bear. This woman is my guest. She's your guest? But that ain't possible. This scandal didn't even know you three hours ago. Be quiet, Felix, before you offend someone. Uh -huh. Mr. Bensky, please. This maniac turned up earlier and tried to wreck the fountain. If it wasn't for the... I said enough, Felix. Please treat Miss Walker with the respect befitting one of my friends. Don't touch and don't swear. Have I made myself clear, Mr. Smetana? Whoa. Yes, yes, crystal clear, Madam Romansky. Please do accept my humble apologies. Mr. Smitana, what? Let me go now. Okay, she's so kind to say that we are her guest. It's okay. Um, thanks. Let's call her guy. Oh, I can take it? Oh, maybe it's... Wait, maybe he cannot hear it from this place, huh? 
What is this ship? It's crazy. What is this place? Like, why would you leave a ship like this? What? Here's another one. Maybe I should put it here. Oh, I cannot take it. Okay, maybe he's coming then. Excuse me, Monsieur, where are ya? Look at Kate. In this mask, she's like, ooh, no so Kinkay. Eh! Hey, you do not hear or what? It's vodka. James, what are you waiting for? Don't tell me you didn't hear the bell this time. The bell did indeed ring. But it is very windy outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is a bit gusty. But what's that got to do with it? Madam doesn't understand. She says an automaton doesn't need protection, but my insides don't like the salty wind. I'm afraid to go out, you know. And if you wore my mask to protect you against the salt, would that help? Oh, most certainly. Then wear it. What? Oh my god, this is so weird. All these automatons, they're so funny. Like real people. Oh, who's calling me? It's Dan. Katie Poo. So, have you met her yet? It's Mama. This Helena Person. What would she like? Does she remember Frank? Hi, Mom. Yeah, sure. I met her and, yeah, she's living in Arrowbad. You can thank Frank for me again. I'll remember too, honey. So, what's Arrowbad like? Maybe Frank can take me there one day. It's this seaside resort, Ma, but it isn't what it used to be. You'd be real disappointed. Maybe you're right. So, when are you coming home? Is that mission all over then? Not really, Ma. I still haven't found the air I'm looking for to wrap up the case. Helena Romanski's a kind of detour here. Listen, Munchkin. I get the distinct impression that you're being led up the garden path. Why don't you just come home, tell your boss this air just doesn't exist, that you've done all you can, et voila. Do you want me to call him for you? Ma, please, don't get involved. Looking for Hans Varlberg is what I'm being paid for, but I also just want to find him for myself. Honestly, you're just as stubborn as your father. Don't complain that your mother didn't warn you. Don't worry, I won't. All right, let's go. Oh, they're coming back with, uh, Helena, yes. Now we can speak. I hope so. Uh, hello, madame. It's a real honor to meet you, Madame Romansky. People have told me so much about you. Mm. People still talk about me. Of course. Oh, dear. Of course. Everyone tells me how wonderful you were. How you were one of the greatest singers of the century. Ah, so I was, my dear. <sighs> but surely you didn't come here just to dig up the past. Ah, uh, actually I'm on a mission, I rebuke I'm my condition. I'm in a case at the moment. And because of it, I met a certain Mr. Sergei Borodin, director of the Komkalsgrad Industrial Complex, situated to the northeast of here. Ah. Oh. I remember that factory. <gasps> oh, a sad city indeed. What am I saying? They all were. Madame Romansky, this Borodin is one of your biggest fans. If you could come and sing for him there, it would make one of his biggest dreams come true. Sing? Oh, my poor girl. I have not sung for years. Time has taken its toll. My voice is like the rest of me. <sighs> Faded and wan. Oh, come on. Like my heart. No, 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 you're cool. Aren't you going a bit far there? I bet you've still got a great voice. Oh, you are the sweetest cherry, my dear. I am not senile yet. But I look reality in the face every time I look in the mirror. 
and I can tell singing is something I did in the past. Oh my gosh, help me! Madam Romansky, please understand I would never have come so far to disturb you if I didn't really need your help. I understand, my dear, but my health is failing me, as does my voice. Believe me, no one is sadder than I. Sadder than Lana Ray, sadder than Lana Ray, sadder than Lana Ray, yeah, I'm sadder than Lana Ray. So, uh, what can I do? Strange. Do you know Hans? I get the impression that Hans Varlberg turned up here too. You know Hans Varlberg? Yes. Not exactly. I'm looking for him to sort out this inheritance case. But I've had to snoop around in his past a bit to get on his trail, and I guess he's kind of a close friend now. You knew him, didn't you? Oh, yes. I knew Hans Wallerberg. Do you hear, James? Ah, oh, if you had had the chance to meet Hans. My Hans. Oh, my God. What has become of him? Where is he? As questions go, madam, that one is not without certain complications. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. That's the goal of my mission, to find Hans Varlberg. That's why I have to get back to my train as quickly as possible and to get out of Komkalsgrad. And you cannot find him without the train? The train is one of his last inventions. So is Oscar, the automaton engineer. I get the feeling that the two of them are going to lead me to him. Did you hear that, James? I might see Hans again. I have dreamed so long of meeting my dearest sweetheart again. Oh, if only I could sing. If only I were in Paris, I would ask George for that miracle cocktail. The one that only he knew how to make. Wouldn't I, James? Yes, madam. As you have frequently said, without that famous cocktail, your French tour would have probably been cancelled. I don't understand. An extraordinary tale, my dear. It was December, and it was terribly cold and damp. I had to play the role of Tatiana that evening at the opera. But since the morning, I had lost my voice. It drove me completely mad with worry. I don't know how George, the barman at the Moritz Hotel, heard about my affliction, but he brought me up a cocktail that he had invented. A strange concoction. But it turned out to be a miracle cure. My voice returned to me in an instant. That's amazing. That's just what we need. We're going to mix you up a cocktail. Ah, oh, my dear child. It is impossible. George never told me the recipe of the drink. He loved to keep his trade secrets. He said it made him absolutely irreplaceable. <laughs> Well, I'm going to get George to tell me. He hasn't yet met with my powers of persuasion. Okay, so uh, I'll let you get what I was back. showing you guys you is the to picture me. that I it took from the pleasure, book. My child. Uh, you are a charming a concierge. young lady, and simply talking to you has warmed my soul. It's the phone number for Moritz Hotel, so it's 464-336. Six, four, three, let's talk. Hello, Hotel Moritz? No reception here, can I help you? Yo! I'd like to talk to Mr. George. He's a barman at your hotel. I'll connect you with the bar. Just a moment. Merci beaucoup. Oh, 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 oh. My voice is singing. Hi. I'd like to talk to George, please. George? You mean Mr. George? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, he must have been a barman at the Moritz in the 50s. Well, don't want to disappoint you, but Mr. George stopped working here quite a while ago. What was it about? I've been told that Mr. George had a recipe for a fantastic cocktail, and only he knew the ingredients. I absolutely must know what was in it. It's a matter of life and death. I'd love to help you, ma'am, but you see, old George... Now, he knew a lot of cocktails, one hell of a barman and one hell of a reputation. He did write down his recipes before he left, but if you can tell me which one you were looking for exactly? Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of them, you say? 
Yeah, the Paris Peking Shuffle, the Deep Green Secret, Boko Poco, Blue Helena, Red Mama. Oh, Blue Helena, baby. Helena, yeah, that's the one. The Blue Helena. Right, I'll take a look. Blue Helena, you say. Let's see. One measure of vodka, one measure of blue carasso, one measure of honey, a dash of lime and ice cubes. Shake it all together and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You have been most helpful to me. Okay. Uh, I think I wrote it down. It's vodka, blue carasso, honey cubes, and shake. Let's try and fix it, mix it. Oh, shit. Cognac, rum, vodka, blue carasso. Okay, okay. Oh boy, this is all so hard. Let me take a picture again. Here we go. So, how do I get honey? I wonder how that works. Oh, we need... I don't have it though. I wonder how that... Should I put vodka here? Here, okay, we need to find honey. Need to find honey and a oh, lemon. Where can I get it? This is so weird. Maybe there's gonna be some other room where we can find all this stuff. Not this one, no. Like for real, where I can find honey. Are you sure there's nothing else here? Uh, all right, but we do not have honey. Let's see. Oh, hello, who are you? What's up? Who are you? I think I'm sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I think I can thrust with my queen through there. Unless... I can see that I'm disturbing you. Uh, hey, no, no, no. Checking two moves. Hmm. Maybe I'll squeeze him with my bishop instead. Nothing like a good squeeze from a bishop. Okay. I wouldn't like to disturb you any longer. Okay. No use uh, from these guys. Let's go back and ask if he has ingredients. That should be like a fridge or something. It's a hotel after all. Well, I doubt there's anything here, right? No, nothing at all. Hey, I need some ingredients. Can you Sir? help? Sir! Sir. She gonna call three times, I'm telling you. De no! Now he's coming. Do you have honey and lemon, please? I've come to say I'm sorry for the fountain. I hope I haven't caused too much damage. But it's the best idea I could find to actually meet Madame Romansky. Oh, it's no problem. I mean, who even looks at the stupid fountain these days? So, your big buddies with Romansky. Just what was it you said to get in her good book so quickly? I just asked if she could come with me to sing in a factory. Romansky, sing? It's been a year and a day since she last sung anything. Bleeding surprise she's going with you. We'll see. There's always hope and, well, persistence. And you certainly have a lot of that. No denying it, madam. Uh, help. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time. So you think Madame Romansky will never sing again? I don't think so, no. 
Well, he cannot give Goodbye, me anything. Oh, maybe I should call... Wow, I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys. Years after I found it. Look. ta -da! Here we go. Honey, lemon. Perfection. Let's go. Uh, lemon. Honey. Oh, wait. It's crystallized. Okay, I think I should... It's not gonna work. I should melt it. Oh, and I can melt it in the bathtub. Boy, this game is actually crazy. <laughs> I'm in, in a good way. I like all these old school crazy puzzles. Is it uh, working or not? Now here we go. I'm getting my picture for the recipe. Uh wait, where's the picture? Um got a picture on my wall with me on John Deere. Here we go. Almost there. Why the hotel in such a bad condition though? Like crazy. Okay, let's do it. Here you go, honey. So, why he said... Ugh, Jesus, I have so many apps open. Uh... Come on. So, vodka. And vodka should be... This one. This one. One... Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do I know which one is vodka? Is this vodka? Wait, why it's not working? How do I make it work? Wait, what? Am I even sure that it's the right... Okay, I did something. Let's go. Uh, while it works. Blue Corasso. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Blue Corasso is the third one. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Jesus. It's crazy. Now it's gonna be honey. Ice. And shake it, baby. Please tell me it's ready and it's good. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh. From what backwater of hell did you find this potion? Are you trying to poison me? No, it's I'm a, sorry. Uh, that is impossible. Right. Okay, 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 okay. So, how do I do vodka? One, two. Boy. I don't understand! Ba vodka, Blue Corasso... Then... Honey... Ice cubes... Let's do lemon, let's do some lemon, just in case. I mean, just in case, shake it.
Oh, bitch, Helena. One more time. Okay, what if I try uh, the other side? So let's say if Waka was here, so now it's number two. Then blue Corasso is... Oh, shit! It's not the right one. So, Watka. Blue Corasso is number three. No. One, two, three. Okay, three. Then. Honey. Then. Lemon. Then ice cubes. And then shake it. I'm praying it's fine this time. But maybe it won't be working because I did something wrong. Okay, oh, bitch. Shut up. Shut up, Helena. One more time. Vodka. Blue Corazon or whatever. Honey. Lemon. Ice cubes. Give it to Helena. Let her drink. Let that old bitch sing. Sing to me, my angel of music. <laughs> yes, bitch. We did it, honeybee. We freaking did it. My voice. Очень God. страстные. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. From you who? No one's gonna watch. Back. Hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. Okay. Crystal. Oh, she can use... Maybe she can break the glass. Try it again, bitch. Sing to me! Sing My for voice. me! Bravo. My God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice... My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, you're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. Shut up, James. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away. Yes, baby. I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James! Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick! Quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Actually, only I'm one, but it's sure okay. Are you sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. All right! Here we go! 
She reminds me of Agatha from Fahrenheit. Okay, let's go. Uh, she said go back to airship. That was pretty easy. We're out of this place. She's gonna sing. We're gonna get the hands back and finally go to Siberia, I think. To find hands. Let's go. Oh shit, who's calling me again? Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. What do you want? Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? Bitch, don't, don't change the subject. I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question. That's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? They fucked with, uh, Olivia, what Dan. are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. They fucked. What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I. What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We we're a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then. Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend and you were engaged and all, but but then we got so close lately and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I, Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Just die Look, then. Don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's it's like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please! Shut I'm up. up now. I wanna be on my own. What a bitch, friend. Oh, she's all dressed up. I got my red dress on tonight. I drop it like it's hot in the pale moonlight. And my hair real big beauty king style High heels off I'm feeling alive I like how epic it is all the time Ooh, Helena, what's up? That was a beautiful shot Oh, I really hope that astronaut guy is alive. He's back. I'm praying for him. Oh shit. She about to sing. They all watching. Oh, it's 
как ебу я вас. Why, why he's doing this in the background? He disappeared. What? What the heck? What the heck? All right, guys. All right. So he imprisoned her. What the hell? I knew that guy is a stalker and he's completely crazy. Oh gee. Alright, we're gonna continue in the next episode and I have a feeling that next episode is gonna be the grand finale. So that's what's up. Uh don't forget to drop a like, write a comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.